Chapter 9, A Kwanzaa Story Christmas Break Hey Kirk, thanks for coming. Oh, my bad, I skipped one. Sorry, let's start over. Christmas Break Sup, Jordan. Hey Kirk, thanks for coming. Long time, man. Thought you forgot about me. Nah, I could never forget you. You're my shrimp lo mein. You're what? Trust me, it's a good thing. Kirk, it's so nice to see you. Jordan told me you were coming over. Hi, Mrs. Banks. I'm so glad that you two are hooking up again. You've always been one of my favorites. Aw, thanks. Hanging out, Mom. Not hooking up. Please tell Lauren and your mom I said hello. I will. Let me know when you get hungry. Dad's making burgers. We're going to hang out in the living room, Mom. We will. So, how's your new school? Okay, I guess. But sometimes it's rough. Like last week, this kid came to school packing. He brought a gun to school? Yep, for protection. Luckily, the security guards found it. Bet that never happens at your school. Are you kidding? Last week, they found a Snickers bar in this kid's locker. So? Duh. We're a nut-free school, son. What? That thing was packing, all right, packed with peanuts. One wrong move and bam. Anaphylactic shock. Yo, that's how we roll, kid. You are way too gangster for me, Jordan. This is fun. I really miss coming over here. Thanks for inviting me. No problem, Kirk. You're my oldest friend. I just get so much homework that when the weekend comes, I just want to sleep. Really? Absolutely. A few days later, it was time to visit Pepper Steak. Dad, this whole not judging thing is really freaking me out. So you think his family is poor but pretends to be rich? Liam never pretends to be anything. His shoes are beat up. He never brags. But then again, his dad drives a Mercedes. And who is Mr. Pierre? Who knows, Jordan? Maybe they used to be rich and lost it all in one of those scams. In any case, just make sure you don't treat him any differently. Okay, son? Okay, Dad. You have reached your destination. Is this just one house? My whole life, I've only heard my dad cuss two times. This was the third. I got it, I got it. I told you, you don't have to get the door. Is he talking to his mom like that? Hi, Jordan. Thanks for coming. Hi, Mr. Banks. What time should I pick you up, Jay? Oh, don't worry about that, sir. We'll make sure he gets home. Oh, okay. Well, have fun, guys. Dad? Yeah? Thanks for everything. You're the best. Man, your house is even bigger on the inside. You could fit my whole apartment in your den. At least, I think this is a den. I only know that term from TV. Is this a den? Remember, you promised. No judging. Okay, but this place is ginormous. So where's your dad? Business trip. Where else? You're lucky. You get to see your dad all the time. He even comes to your games. My dad hasn't been to one of my games since T-Ball. Hello, you must be Jordan. I'm Liam's mom, and this is Grayson. Kristen, come meet Liam's new friend. No. Hi. My son must really like you. He almost never has playdates anymore. It's not a playdate, Mom. I keep forgetting. You're a grown man now, aren't you? Liam, who is the little chubby one who used to come over? That was Maury, Mom. Maury, that's right. Whatever happened to you two? Mom, that was fourth grade. People change. Well, he was nicer than that boy who broke your grandmother's lamp. 
and she wonders why I don't have friends over anymore. So Maury used to come over? Yeah, but we just kind of grew apart. And who broke the lamp? Guess. Andy? Yep, he was out of control even then. Our families used to hang out. Then we bought this house, which is much bigger than theirs, and they sort of disappeared. What about other kids? Nah, I just don't feel like there's anyone who's like me at this school. I always feel so different. Different? You? Well, it's better now that you and now you and Drew are regular people. Don't get me wrong, the other guys are nice, Alex, Ramon, but they're not into the same things that I'm into, you know? Yeah, I do, believe me. Hey, what's the deal with the auditorium? Is it really named after your family? <sighs> My grandfather. Wow, so how... So how come the best games always come out during the school year? Huh? Oh, yeah. And always on a Tuesday when we have homework. Hungry? Sure, what you got? Watercress sandwiches with endive and arugula? Oh, okay. I'm just messing with you. I don't even know what that is. Be right back. Bye, Mrs. Landers. Bye, dear. Come back any time. So are we still cool? Yeah, why wouldn't we be? Awesome. Merry Christmas, Jordan. This is for you. Wow. Thanks. But I don't have anything for you. You're my friend. That's a lot. I'm home. Oh, hi, Mom. Have a seat, son. Is something wrong? Am I late? No, I want to hear about the mansion. Please tell me you took pictures. Ooh, did he give you a Christmas present? What do you think it is? I don't know. Where's Dad? Headache. Went to bed. Now sit down and start talking. I want details. Dad? Christmas Day. There really isn't much that I want, besides the new NBA 2K. But I know it's too expensive. I can never get games until they drop below $50. Ooh, Pac-Man. Which is why I'm always so far behind on Madden. Dad, who's Joe Namath again? But what I really wanted, no one could give me. A growth spurt. That would be awesome. Wow, thanks, guys. Try it on, son. Look, I'm 6'4". What really happened? A gift certificate to Lipstick City? How did you know? Um, maybe because she texted us her Christmas list? Socks? Thanks. Well, I know you need them, and two new undershirts. Oh my gosh, NBA 2K, and it's the new one. Well, you deserve it. We know how hard you've worked at school, and we know it hasn't been easy for you. By the way, Jordan, what did your friend Liam give you? Oh, um, he got me a pair of those pink grapevine groves shorts that everyone wears. You know, as a joke. Super duper millennium prestige Gold edition. So look what he really got him. Jordan sold out. Between being surrounded by rich kids and seeing Liam's mansion, I knew that my dad thought he was losing me. Come over to the dark side, Jordan. Just not too dark if you get my drift. Must golf. So he made sure he did everything he could to return my soul, like celebrating Kwanzaa. Usually, we always seem to miss one day, like Ujima, but this year he made sure we did all seven days. And while everyone else was still watching A Christmas Story and Frosty the Snowman, we had already moved on. 
Aw, 12 years a slave? Can we at least watch Blackish? We also listened to a lot of his old music, including the godfather of soul himself, James Brown. Go ahead, sweetie. Let me go get my camera. Then, once my soul had been properly repaired inside our apartment, it was time to fix it outside as well. Miller Community Center Look, Jay, there's Kurt with some of your old buddies. See? Sophia, Mark, Bliss, Kenny. I see, Dad. Hey, yo, Jordan! Come on, man, we need one more. Carlos is tired. Have fun, Jay. Okay, I got Kirk, Bliss, you got your brother. Sophia, you check private school. Game is 15, win by 2. Take everything back. Point game, losers. Come on, fellas, we're playing terrible. Actually, you're playing terribly. Oh, Jordan just ripped you guys. No, I didn't mean it like that. I meant the word is terribly. It's an adverb, so it modifies the verb. Yeah, Jordan's talking junk. You guys are garbage. Oh, okay. Good one, private school. Yeah, glad to see you still got jokes. Thanks, Kirk. No prob. All right, let's go. Game point. Check it up. The Saki Horror. Oh, sorry. That's next chapter. All right, go ahead back to the seesaw to do your stop and jaw.